Donald John Defor was an American actor. He is best known for his roles in the sitcom The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet from 1952 to 1957 and the sitcom Hazel from 1961 to 1965, the former of which earned him a Primetime Emmy Award nomination. Early life Defor was one of seven children born in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, to Joseph Irvin, a railroad engineer for the Chicago and Northwestern Transportation Company and a local politician, and Albina Sylvia Defor. Albina, who occasionally directed plays at their local church, was the daughter of Czech immigrants from the former Podobrady district. Her father Jan Nezerka was born in Piskova Loda and her mother Marie Najbertova was born in Chivalovice. After graduating from Washington High School in Cedar Rapids, Defor attended the University of Iowa. He initially studied law while also playing basketball, track, and baseball before becoming interested in acting. Since acting was not a major study at the university, he left and enrolled at the Pasadena Community Playhouse, where he won a scholarship and stayed for three years. Career acting during this time, four fellow students and he wrote a play called Where Do We Go From Here? It was presented in a little theater in Hollywood with D4 in the cast. As a young man, D4 toured the country in stock companies for several years before making his Broadway debut in Where Do We Go From Here? In 1938, when Oscar Hammerstein II offered to take it to Broadway, and D4 and five of the original cast members went along. The show ran for four weeks, and D4 was soon recognized as a member of legitimate theater. He remained in New York and won a key role in The Male Animal, which ran for almost eight months on Broadway and eight months on the road. In Hollywood, D4's first screen appearance was in a bit part in 1936's Reunion. By the early 1940s, he was appearing regularly in films such as The Male Animal, A Guy Named Joe, 30 Seconds Over Tokyo, You Came Along, Without Reservations, It Happened on Fifth Avenue, Romance on the High Seas, My Friend Irma, and Jumping Jacks. In 1946, exhibitors voted him the fourth most promising star of tomorrow. D4 also worked in radio, performing on such programs as Suspense, Old Gold Comedy Theater, and Lux Radio Theater, but he is best known for his work in television. Beginning in 1952, D4 had a recurring role as the Nelson's friendly neighbor, Thorny, on the ABC sitcom The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, earning a nomination in 1955 for a Best Supporting Actor in a regular series Primetime Emmy Award. In time, though, the role of Thorny was superseded by Lyle Talbot as Joe Randolph, and Mary Jane Croft as his wife Clara. From 1954 to 1955, he served as president of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. He was instrumental in arranging for the Emmy Awards to be broadcast on national television for the first time on March 7, 1955. He also served on the board of the Screen Actors Guild. From 1961 to 1965, D4 was a co-star of the television series Hazel as George Baxter, employer of the spirited, domineering housekeeper Hazel Burke, played by Shirley Booth and based on the cartoon character appearing in the Saturday Evening Post. D4 was not the original actor to portray George Baxter. In the pilot episode, the role was played by character actor Edward Andrews. D4 took over the role when the series was green-lighted. The series ran on primetime until 1966, when it was cancelled by NBC. D4 and his co-star Whitney Blake were written out of the series when CBS picked up the series for its final season. In 1970, D4 appeared as Mayor Evans on the TV western The Men from Shiloh in the episode titled, Colonel McKenzie vs. the West. In that role, he played a murderer, which was a major shift from the comedy roles for which he was better known on The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet and Hazel. For his contribution to the television industry, Don Defor has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame located at 6804 Hollywood Boulevard. Writing in 1965, Defor and his daughter Penny wrote With All My Love, a book detailing Penny's experiences working in a Korean orphanage. Defor later released his memoirs, Hollywood Defor and After. Personal life marriage and children D4 married singer Marion Holmes on February 14, 1942. Judy Garland served as Holmes' matron of honor. Holmes performed with the Henry Buss Orchestra from 1935 to 1939, and later with Art Castle and his Castles in the Air, from 1939 until their marriage. They had five children, Penny, David, Don, Ron, and Autumn. They remained married until D4's death in 1993. Politics and other activities D4 and his family were longtime residents of the Mandeville Canyon section of Brentwood and attended the Village Church of Westwood Lutheran. D4 served as Brentwood's honorary mayor and also served as a member of the advisory committee for the California Department of Rehabilitation. D4 was also a 33rd degree Freemason. From 1957 to 1962, D4 and his family operated the Silver Banjo Barbecue, a restaurant located in Frontierland of Disneyland Park in Anaheim, California. In July 1969, D4 served as the American delegate at the Moscow International Film Festival. A longtime Republican, D4 supported Barry Goldwater in the 1964 United States presidential election and was a delegate at the 1980 Republican National Convention. His friend, former actor and 40th President of the United States Ronald Reagan, appointed him to the Presidential Advisory Council to the Peace Corps. 
Death on December 22, 1993. D4 died of cardiac arrest at St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica, California. His remains are interred at the Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Los Angeles. <laughs>